Okay, here's a quick video on how to do box and whisker plots on the TI-84. Uh, let's say that I had a test that I'd given recently in my class, and there were 12 kids in the test, and we can see the scores that they achieved here, and I've been asked to put these in a box and whisker plot. So what I'm going to do on the TI-84 is first I'm going to go into the statistics area, which can be found right here in stat. I'm going to press stat. And what I want to do is the following. I'm going to notice I have three menus up here. I can edit some statistics. That's where I put information into the calculator, like, say, for instance, these test scores. I have the calculations menu, which is where I can get some stuff out, which, in fact, for your statistics people, you might want to be checking out that one variable stats thing. That's pretty nice. It tells you things like mean, median, mode, things like that. And I have the test menu, which is for more advanced statistics, and we're not going to touch that here. Okay, so basically, for this video, we're going to talk all about stat edit. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to take me into the editing mode. And so now I can enter this data into the list. Okay, so I'm going to type these values in 92, 86, 41, 53, 76, 100, 99, 73, 74, 4, and 68. Now, here's the nice thing. At the bottom, if I look right here, it says list 1, and it says in parentheses it says 12. And what that really means is that that's the 12th item, the 12th value that I entered in. So a quick check, if I know I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I have 12 values. That tells me I've got all 12 of them there. That, ma that helps me make sure that I didn't miss a value somewhere. Quick scroll up. Let's make sure I don't have any typos. Looks like I'm good. Okay. So now, time to create the box and whisker plot. Here's what we want to do. Notice we did statistics. If we want a statistics plot, we need to go to, hopefully my video actually lets me zoom in here, statistics plotting right here. It's in blue, which means we're going to have to hit second to get to it. Everything's color-coded on the calculator. And that takes us into our statistics plotting menu. Now, I'm just going to work with plot one here. Notice right now the plot one is turned off. So I'm going to hit enter while I'm highlighting it. And I'm going to turn it on. Now I'm going to use the down arrow right here. I'm going to hit down and I'm going to cho go to cho change my type of graph. I don't want a dot, a scatter plot. I don't want a line graph. I don't want a histogram. Our box and whisker plot looks like maybe it's going to be right here. And here's the option I want to pick. Notice when I hit enter, the rest of it kind of changed. It says, what do you want to use for your data values? And I'm saying list one is what I want to use. I know that I want to use list one because if I go back into the stat menu and I go to edit, Notice it was list one is where I entered all my information, right? So I'm ready to go. I've turned my stat plot is now on. Notice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to graph. Now, well, that's weird. Hold on. Let me erase this equation. Sorry. Now, I go here and nothing shows up. Well, the problem is, is that, remember, the test scores are over near, like, somewhere between 40 and 100, right? So my window's off. Really, I'm just looking at the wrong part of the graph. But the nice thing is, is the TI-84 has this feature. If you go to Zoom, and I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I have one that's called Zoom Statistics. And so that's the option I want to use. It's option 9, Zoom to Statistics. And if I hit Enter, there's my box and whisker plot. Now here's the best thing about this, okay? So now I see some values and everything. I can see the box and whisker plot and what it looks like, but you know what? I don't know what those values are. Hard to tell what I mean, where's that number? But the trace feature works really well with box and whisker plots. If I hit trace, notice that it says the median here is 74. The first quartile is 70.5. 41 is the minimum. Third quartile is 89, and the maximum was 100. And that's pretty slick. So there you go, and if you have any other questions, feel free, feel free to leave comments on my video page, and I'll be able to request, I'll, I'll respond to those whenever I get the time to.